Hey, remote professionals. If you're new to the channel, we are an online job board. We highlight jobs that are remote around the globe. In today's video, we have a bunch of jobs that we're going to go over. So stick around to the end to learn how to apply, learn more about the positions, and we'll post a link below for you to check on these new jobs. The first one is going to be a customer support executive. This is going to be a 100% remote job for a company called Close. Close is a CRM, also known as Customer Relationship Management Tool. Basically, if you have ever experienced Salesforce, it's going to be similar to that. Not exactly identical. Obviously, it's a different product, but that's pretty much the uh, basis of that company. So for this position, you do need to be physically based in the Eastern Time Zone, Central Time Zone, Mountain Time Zone, or Pacific Time Zones. You do not need to be located in the U.S. You just have to live in one of these time zones, so that opens up almost anywhere in the Americas, North America, Central America, South America and Latin America as well. So I know we have a lot of folks in uh, Jamaica and the islands. Um, so you will be eligible for this job as well. So this one, guys, like we said, this is a 100% bootstrap company. They are profitable, which is definitely important in this economic climate. You're going to want to be with a profitable company, ideally, especially if you're working in the startup area. It looks like you're going to be reporting to the manager of customer support. And as a customer support executive, you're going to be responsible for handling general support emails during, like we said, the Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific time zone business hours. This role requires a high level of independence and immediate responsibility. The main focus is the support to KQ, but you're also going to be responsible for leading individual projects and initiatives outside of the queue as the needs arise. They'd like you to be comfortable working in a fast-paced remote environment, with a small and talented team where you're supported in your efforts to grow professionally. You're going to be able to manage your time well, communicate effectively, and collaborate in a fully distributed environment, which just means, guys, almost everyone in this company works remotely, so if you have experience working from home previously, definitely make sure that you highlight that. That's going to be a pretty big deal, especially for remote-first companies. All right, as far as the requirements go, like we said, Make sure that you're physically based in one of these time zones. Again, you do not need to live in the United States. You just need to be able. You just need to live in these time zones. So definitely look that up. If you're in the Americas, you should qualify for that. They'd like you to have a high level of proficiency in the English language, both written and verbal. Definitely, though, guys, if you are bilingual, trilingual, quad, quad, quadlingual, uh, definitely, definitely make sure that you note that in your resume. And your application that will definitely be beneficial to the company but definitely for sure make sure that you can speak and write in english they would like you to have experience working in a remote capacity and also have two years of experience working in customer facing roles whether that's sales support hospitality some kind of a job like that guys and nice to haves if you have direct support experience so customer support experience Technical and coding experience, that could be VoIP, email, network management, APIs, HTML, CSS, uh, etc. Deep knowledge of SaaS and CRM landscape. So if you're experienced on other sales platforms or programs frequently integ integrated with Close, that'll be great. Again, a CRM, almost every company out there right now in the U.S. guys is using Salesforce. You might have some using HubSpot. You might have some using... Um, you know, Microsoft CRM. So if you have any experience with that, that'll be great too. And in this job, they want you to respond to the customer support tickets and take support calls during the business hours. They want you to escalate issues to senior support staff and engineering as needed. They want you to conduct fraud prevention and detection, billing reconciliation, writing bug reports, coordinating with success to provide extra support to large customers, and maintaining the help center documentation and creating content for new features. Some of the tools that they use, Help Scout, Sift, Stripe, Twilio, Pilvo, Guru, Asana. So if you have any experience with any of these, definitely put that in your resume. Give an example of how you used it, when you used it, and what you did to improve it, if you can. And then a few benefits here. Again, they're a 100% remote company. You can choose between working five days per week, standard full-time, or four days per week at 80% pay. They have annual team vacations, quarterly virtual summits, five weeks of PTO, two additional PTO days, one month paid sabbatical every five years, co-working stipend, revenue share after one year, 
paid parental leave, medical, dental, and vision, 401k match at 6% for U.S. residents, dependent care FSA for U.S. residents, and a few other things there. All right, and if you want to go on and read more about the company, you can do so there. Let's move on to the next job. And the next job we're going to cover is going to be a customer services representative. This is going to be a second shift with CBRE. Uh, CBRE is a pretty big company in the United States, guys. So this one will be a good position, a lot of opportunities down the line. For this one, you must live in the United States. It is going to be a full-time position. The pay range is going to be $14.47 to $19.08 per hour. And as far as this goes, guys, the purpose of this position is to provide information in response to inquiries about products and services and to handle and resolve complaints. CBRE is B2B, guys, so most of the customer service calls that you should be getting are most likely going to come from businesses. So it's going to be a little bit of a different experience if you've been working B2C also known as business to consumer before in a call center environment, this one should be a little bit more professional. Okay. So as far as the duties go, you're going to provide customer service by answering incoming service requests that can be by phone, chat, email, other online requests. They probably have some kind of queue that whether they have tickets guys that you might respond to. You're also going to generate and dispatch service request work orders for completion by vendors. You're going to schedule conference rooms and audio, audio visual equipment. You're going to respond to customer inquiries and concerns, follow-ups with customers to ensure customer satisfaction. You're also going to update computer maintenance management systems, customer service database and spreadsheets, contracts, customer for addition. Uh, you're going to contact customer for additional information and communicating the steps in the work order process, run reviews, distribute various customer uh, service reports as necessary, and a few other things there. As far as your qualifications go, to perform this job optimally, you're going to be, you'll be able to perform each pertinent duty satisfactorily. The requirements listed below are representative of the skills needed. So for this one, guys, you do need a high school degree or GED. Call center experience is going to be preferred, and they'd like a minimum of two years of related experience. So if you come close to that, guys, or you have a little bit more, feel free to still apply to this position. And if you have experience that doesn't directly translate, but you have skill sets and things that you learned in a different job that translate well, still make sure, craft a resume for the job, and then apply to the position. All right. They'd like you to have interpersonal skills. Oops, sorry about that. They'd like you to have the ability to comprehend and interpret instructions short correspondence and memos, ask clarifying questions to ensure understanding, and they'd like you to have the ability to write routine reports and correspondence. Financial responsibilities, they'd like you to be able to calculate uh, simple figures such as percentages. Again, you should have a calculator available to you, but having general knowledge of how to do that and how to use the calculator would be great. They'd also like you to be able to type 45 to 50 words per minute if you are new to the site, guys, we have a little bit of a typing test up here that you can use to try to get to there. Do some practice trying to get to 45 to 50 words per minute. Um, ideally, though, you're probably going to want to get to 50 to 60 so that you can impress them a little bit more in your resume and your application. All right, and then scope of the responsibility. Basically, guys, it's a, it's a customer service job. You're going to be working, though, with businesses. So, again, going to be a little bit of a different interaction and this is going to be great experience to put on your resume because you're going to be working with other businesses. Down here, you're going to see the breakdown of your pay, 30,000 annually, annually to about 39,681 annually. So you're going to be in that salary band and you're definitely going to get uh, benefits to C CBRE. You should expect a 401k. They might have stock options, I'm not sure about that one, but they do have health insurance uh, offerings as well. Data entry clerk Level one remote with the Stefanini group. It's going to be a full-time position in the United States. There are two openings available for this one, guys, so you're going to have a good chance to get it at landing this position. As far as what you can expect salary-wise, they didn't put anything here, guys, uh, but I bet you're probably $15 to $20 per hour is what we're seeing with entry-level data entry, so you should be around that range. And as far as what they'd like you to have skill-wise to land the job, they'd like you to have experience with Microsoft Office especially Excel and Word. 
They'd like you to be able to follow written and spoken instructions, minimum of 50 to 60 words per minute in typing, the ability to accurately enter information into a computer, accessing information from a computer, and verifying the information on a screen. So definitely, guys, again, feel free to access that little typing test. It's not super in-depth, but it's free, and you should be able to prove that you can get up to you know 60-plus words per minute. Um, if you want to get more in-depth of, depth of this, guys, and you need like you know training lessons on actual typing, if you just head to Google and type in free typing test, you should be able to find something that's a little bit more in-depth. Um, but you should be able to basically prove that you can write, you know, type 60 plus words per minute still with that little uh, free typing test there. All right. And uh, as far as the requirements go, they'd like you to have a bachelor's degree or vocational and ID, uh, IT related courses. That's going to be a plus, not a requirement. And they'd like you to have a minimum of completed two years in college or finished a diploma or certificate course. They'd like you to have excellent oral and written communication skills advanced organizational skills definitely guys and as far as data entry goes if you're or very well organized punctual and things like that those are going to be great things to um, showcase in your resume and your interview as well maybe you have experience you know as a project manager and project management administrative kind of work and things like that that'll translate really well to data entry they'd like you to consistently meet and or exceed required performance criteria so if you have experience with, in a job with KPIs, also known as key performance indicators, that's something you're going to want to in, include in this as well. They'd, they'd like you to have familiarity and good working knowledge in PC hardware and software troubleshooting. Prior software application support. Experience is a plus. Attention to detail. Good time management. Prior BPO experience and technical support going to be a plus as well. And familiarity with the ticketing system is going to be a strong advantage. If you can work other shifts, that's going to be great too. Uh, 